All right, so if you're watching this snip, I'm guessing that you've probably uh, had the pleasure of setting the execution policy in PowerShell manually at least a half a million times. Uh, so let's go over uh, the process of making that easier by leveraging group policy. So I've created a group policy object here called PowerShell execution policy, uh, just in preparation for this. And you, you also notice that this, since this is a demo environment, I only have a couple of OUs and a couple of group policy objects. I'm sure you've got a lot more. Uh, but to set the execution policy, we're just going to edit our group policy object. Uh, and then we're going to browse through to policies, administrative templates, Windows components, and then scroll down to the bottom for Windows PowerShell. And here we've got a couple of settings, uh, but in this case, we're only going to take a look at these turn on script execution. So if I right click on that and select edit, we can see that by default, this is not configured. So it doesn't care what the execution policy is by default. And then selecting enabled uh, enables the execution policy dropdown. And then that gives us the option to allow only signed scripts, local scripts, and then remote signed or all scripts. And of course, in a perfect world, we all use allow only signed scripts, right? When we get around to uh, getting that CA back up and running. And so I'll select that just, just as an example here. And I'm going to hit going to hit apply and OK. We can see that it's set to enabled. And then of course, uh, basic group policy stuff here. We're going to take and, and assign that group policy object to the client computers OU, uh, just as, as an example. And so that is how you set the PowerShell execution policy using group policy.